Hi, Hiram here. I wanted to share something cool with you today that I've been playing around with. Last couple of days I've been playing around with that modification that John over at Flat Cat Gear suggested on the Sawyer filter. Normally this has a plastic bag on the top and a plastic bag on the bottom, but some people had asked and John had suggested that in order to use this on the filter, Maybe you could use a tornado tube. This is one of the things, a kid's toy that goes between two two liter soda bottles and when you fill the top up with water, as it drains down into the bottom, it makes a thing that looks like a tornado. So these are called tornado tubes or I got a bag of them on eBay to play with. They call them cyclone tubes. But when I put this on between these, it seemed to run a little bit slow and I thought maybe it was because the air from this rigid container has to go somewhere and it doesn't go back up the tube too, up to the uh, filter too well. So since this didn't work the way it was, I've been playing around with drilling holes in it and all kinds of stuff. It's going a little bit faster, but I also think that maybe part of my problem is the bag that I was using isn't large enough to give a lot of pressure coming through. So I've been playing with this. But then I got to thinking of a, a, another great use for these things. And that's for making bubblers. You know, you've seen these on uh, some other videos that I've done where alcohol goes in here and then it's a remote feed to a little alcohol burner. I showed how to make these. I think I showed how to make these. But in the past, it's been kind of a pain uh, I used the one inch cap, PVC cap, and the bottle tops from two liter bottles. The problem is they're, these are way too small for in these and then you got to do all kinds of finicky fiddling around and stuff. But I found that these uh, cyclone tubes or tornado tubes fit just about perfectly in here, right down through in the cap. So all I had to do was I cut them in half took one tornado tube, cut it in half, did a little bit of playing around with it, drilled the holes like we do on all of them, and they work great. Glued them in and there you are. Nice little bubbler with a whole lot less work. So I thought maybe I'd just share that for another use for these uh, tornado cyclone tubes. This is going to be cool. So I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions, and as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.